Hello, and welcome to the Mid-Ohio Valley Public Forum video podcast. Um, our podcast features issues of interest to the residents of the Mid-Ohio Valley area and hopefully beyond. Um, the coronavirus pandemic changed our lives quite a bit. Mm -hmm. And the pandemic was the impetus for the start of the MOV Public Forum. And unfortunately, the pandemic is still with us. So here we still are with our socially distanced interviews of people and issues we hope will inform and interest you. Today, we're gonna to talk to Kim Wilson, the Vice President of the Board of House to Home. Uh, Kim has been involved with House to Home for many years. She's served on the board for about 12 years now. Um, let's get her in here and talk to her. Okay. Oh, the other Kim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, welcome. <laughs> welcome guest Kim. I'm co-host Kim. <laughs> today we're talking with Kim Wilson, and uh, we're glad to have you join us today. Tell us about House to Home. How did you all get started, and what is your mission? Well, House to Home was started by a lady named Marie, who... Um, had just a little place downtown here, um, down by where the coffee shop is. And she just had a little area where they could sit outside and she would have coffee for them and snacks. And if, if she could afford it at different times. Well, Jean Grapes happened to cross there one day and decided that she needed help. So Jean came and talked to all of her friends. I was one of them and told us that we needed to start donating to help this lady. So we all got our money together and snacks at different times. And we started doing that. And then Jean got more involved and decided she wanted to get a board together to make it really happen. And we bought a house and paid it off. And um, that's really how it got started. Jean was the big, big person in it. And it's been around for about 30 years now. And your mission is, for people that haven't well, heard mission, of House to Home. Yeah, yeah, our mission is to help in any way that we can with the homeless and people who can't make ends meet. Um, we try to make sure that, well, Jean would say to you that no one starves and no one freezes. That's really our main goal, but we do have others. We, we try to make sure that we get them the help that they need. Um, in a lot of the situations, mentally ill or drug addiction, alcoholism, things like that. We try to make sure they get all the help they can get and try to get them in the house if we can. And if not, we make sure they don't freeze and make sure they don't go hungry. Basically. <laughs> well, I think that um, many people may have um, some misconceptions and there are common myths or stereotypes um, out there about people who are experiencing homelessness. Um, uh, are there any of those that you would like to kind of dispel today or clear up for people? Absolutely. Um, one of the big, biggest myths of all is that they're lazy. These are not lazy people um, and they don't want to work. And that's just not true. A lot of them aren't able to work. A lot of them have problems that they need help for you know, before they can work and be a part of society. And really what we try to do is recognize that. And, and if we do have people who are able, then we try to push them in that direction. We have computers and um, we have people that come there and pick them up to go work. So, you know, we try to push that part, but that's a big myth. There's a lot of people that cannot do the job or a job. So you already told us a little about how you got involved with House to Home. So um, what do you think is the biggest barrier to helping the homeless population get housed? Um, well, I think there are a lot of programs out. Don't get me wrong. There are a lot of programs out that do help, especially veterans, for instance, 
Um, we have a homeless outreach program for veterans that we try to work with. And we have a couple of those actually. Um, I am also um, a um, landlord. My husband and I have rentals and we actually have worked with a lot of the veterans. They come in, the programs come in and um, help them for like 10 months. They get them on programs that they need and um, programs that will help them go further, get them on social security. Um, but at house to home, we try to make sure that if you can be helped, we will help you. If you, if it's a situation where there's only certain things that you can do, then we do those. We do those too. We just do anything that we can to try to make sure that it helps or benefits them. Well, I'm sure that has to home uh, over its tenure has some success stories. Um, is there any that come to mind that you'd like to share with us? We have tons of success stories. <laughs> um, <laughs> we, we're very, we don't mention names, of course, but we do have, we have a lot of, um, the, the thing that tickles me the most about our success stories is most of them, not all of them, will come back and volunteer. We have a lot of them that are are there all the time that, you know, actually there was one guy in particular that I would go in there and see him and he was always working. And I said, you know, he's always working, try to help everybody and do all this. We really should see about getting, um, you know, getting him another job and getting him out there and getting him housed. And they said, he's been housed for a long time, Kim. <laughs> so he, he's been in a house and had a job and, he still comes there and takes care of everybody. So we love that. That's a great thing about it. But we have a lot of them that are like that. Numerous ones, actually. Well, I know that the Wood County Democrats are having a food drive for House to Home this coming Saturday. They'll be set up in front of Das Rook House from 10 to 2. And they'll be accepting donations for you all. Um, so... What kinds of items do you all most need? What can people um, bring to the food drive? Any kind of um, soup, um, spaghettios, things like that, that have pop top lids. Those are the best. Um, pot, any kind of canned meat, potted meat, the little beanie weenies. Um, I'm trying to think here, granola bars, anything that's individually wrapped that will actually give some nutrition as well as a snack to fill their belly with. Um, those are the best things. Um, we also do like spam and different things. So we make sacks that they can take down to the river. So those are always good things to put in those sacks. Um, we always need bleach. We always need toilet paper, you know, um, Things like that are always on our list. Um, but with the weather coming up now, we're going to need toboggans, gloves, um, scarves, old coats, shoes. We can always use, we can use just about anything this time of year. Mm -hmm. Anything to keep you warm. I know somebody's already got, bought some socks and underwear to donate. That's awesome. We always need those, always. I have a sack of... Um, socks at my house right now that I, or socks, gloves at my house right now that I bought at the end of the year last year when everything went, you know, clearance. I have two great big sacks of gloves. So I, I always keep, I always have gloves, socks, underwear, things like that. Anything that we take for granted is a big deal to them. Well, that sounds like a great thing on Saturday because people can just pull up hand their things out the window and drive away. I don't even have to get out of their cars. Um, but for folks who maybe can't make it on Saturday, um, are there other ways for people or organizations in the community to help you guys out? There are. Um, anyone can always call me. Um, my number's out there. I'm a real estate agent, 304-615-1527. They can always call me. I'll come pick it up. Um, they can drop it off to me at my office. They can drop it off over on 8th Street, which is 
actually where house to home is, it's right behind Levitt's on the back of Levitt's right across the street there. You can drop, drop all things anytime before three actually, um, because that's about the latest that we're open, but yeah, any, anything there, anytime, anytime you can drop them off there. And we also have a phone number there. It's 304-893-5353. And if you call them, they'll come out and help you. There's always someone there to help you load it or unload it. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything we haven't asked you about that you would like folks in the community to know about house to home and the services you provide? Well, yeah, I mean, I would like to tell a few things that we do there that I think are pretty great. Um, we have laundry services for them. We have shower services for them. We have lockers set up. And like I said before, things that we don't think are a big deal. They have lockers in the back room that they can keep their stuff in because they can't carry it with them all the time. Um, we have, um, like I said before, the bags that we fill up that they can take down and have it for the weekend and drinks or for the night. We have computers so they can look for jobs. We have, um, trying to think what all we have there. Oh, also it's a great place for them to have an address because to get mail from either family or from social security or from, you know, wherever it is they need to get an address for. So it's really good about that. We get their mail. They can come there and pick up their mail and, um, we have been known to give out haircuts, you know, bring people over to do haircuts so they can be looking good for the, for a job interview or whatever. We try to get them in the health care. Anything that we can help them with, we try to do there. And it's, it's a great, it, everybody always says, when you give money to, you know, some of these causes, you don't know where it goes. Well, I'm telling you, I know exactly where it goes. They, it all goes right back into it. And all of the board members, we are always contributing ourselves, you know, to try to make it. The only ones that get paid there are we have a we have a full time director and we have a full time assistant. And trust me, we need them. They keep everything going. Pretty awesome place, though. Well, thank you so much, you for, so much uh, for taking the time, taking the time to, to speak with us today. And to tell us Thank about House so to Home for and, me. and uh, to let people in the community know how they can help too, because, you know, as you said, it's something that a lot of us take for granted, especially with the holidays coming up. You know, I know we all like those big Thanksgiving dinners, but, you know, there are a number of people in our community who won't have that. So thank you yep. for all that you do and all that your board does. And hopefully some people will um want to help out as well so well we really appreciate you guys getting the word out there and we appreciate so much what the democrats are doing love it thanks well, thank you kim <laughs> thank